bracing for fire season. And tonight, the city council passed a new firework restriction map. Your specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is live in Salt Lake City. And Lauren, sounds like fire departments, even up north here, are thinking about those restrictions as well. Yeah, Mike, I talked to Salt Lake City Fire here earlier this evening. They said they actually just happened to sit down today with city employees and kind of hammer out the details of what those restrictions will look like. But as far as St. George, they're already a step ahead. And in fact, they say they are already having problems when it comes to firework related fires. Summer holiday fireworks are still somewhat far off in the future. But in St. George. And we just hope that people would use caution. It seems to be extremely windy this year. They're already top of mind. We had our first one last night, just before midnight, down on uh, Mesa Palms, down off Dixie Drive. Fireworks started a, a pretty large uh, grass fire down there. So it is the season. At Thursday's council meeting, Fire Chief Robert Stoker presented an updated fireworks restrictions map, identifying the areas where anyone caught lighting them off can face fines, criminal citations, and take on the bill to fight any fires they spark. The map isn't just for fireworks, Chief Stoker tells me. It's any type of ignition sources, so welding, cutting. Uh, we've had several large fires in the past from uh, construction. The St. George Fire Department has responded to multiple human caused blazes recently. We're seeing an in a rapid increase in growth in these fires this time of year. Saying the conditions are hot, dry and windy already, meaning this map is much needed. We like to get these out and try to get the information out to our residents as soon as possible to, to get some education on, on what the restrictions are and where. And while mid May may seem pretty early, uh, Salt Lake City Fire tells me that June 1st is actually the deadline for agencies across the state. And they do expect to expand some of their restrictions. And you can see why. The grasses are growing a lot taller this year than normal. So they say some areas like around the Jordan River, we will see some extra fire restrictions. So we'll be on the lookout for that map, Mike.